Sign number one, idea. Any subculture is based on an idea. Moreover, this idea is always expressed in one simple statement. Even if at the initial stage of the formation of a subculture, there is an idea, but the form or the statement that expresses it does not yet exist, you can rest assured that the form will be found as soon as possible. The followers of the subculture themselves will find this simple statement that describes the idea. Such a statement that describes the simple idea of the subculture usually takes less than 60 seconds to say. I don't want to confuse you, so let's begin with a little experiment for comparison purposes, so you can more clearly understand what I am saying. Let's take a religion, for example, Christianity. How can we find the main ideas? There is, of course, a fundamental reference book called the Gospel. It's not really that important for this experiment, but still, note that there are four official Gospels in this religion. Gospel from Matthew, from Luke, from Mark, and from John. And now, dear participants of the experiment who have read the Gospel, try to formulate the main idea. There's no need to start retelling the story. Just say what is the main idea. If you're not having any success with stating an idea, again, as an experiment, let's try to turn to another object of research, such as Buddhism. This religious and philosophical doctrine also has the central book that's called Lamarim. And we are now doing the same exercise. Try to express the main idea of the book in one sentence. And if you're enjoying this exercise, you can try a third experimental object such as Islam. If you acquaint yourself with the Quran and also try to formulate an idea, are you having difficulties with that yet? An idea, a simple, understandable idea, the formulation of which does not require you to earn higher education or graduate from Harvard, Yale, or Sorbonne. Can you please give an example of such a clear idea? Certainly. Let's step aside from religions and turn our focus towards subcultures. Do you remember the movie Point Break from 2015? The director was Erickson Core. And right away from the posters and captions and trailers of the film, you will notice one simple thought. Find your breaking point. However, let's not stop. Let's formulate an idea. In fact, this idea is explained from the beginning of the film. A certain legendary Japanese extremist, Ono Ozaki, told the world of extreme sports that they have to pass eight extremely difficult tests, and one who passes those eight tests will attain nirvana. Bingo. That's all. That took me less than 60 seconds. The idea is now clear. Everything else in the movie is just cinematic entourage. And now to see the difference and to see the contrast, let's focus again on the four Gospels and try to formulate an idea. Are you having difficulties yet? No wonder that you're having difficulties. 
even if you use a mag magnifying glass and read the Quran, the la Lamrim, back and forth, you can't seem to understand the idea. Overall, we can try and explain what happened in the Bible briefly. Once upon a time, there was a person. He lived poorly and badly. He suffered all his life. Then an angel came to him at night and predicted that he would have a son. And the son was born. Then the son went around creating miracles. Not everyone was satisfied that someone is able to walk around and create miracles. And all in the name of the Almighty Lord and God. And then crucifixion, resurrection, and the Savior suffered for all the people. And now we are all naturally sinful when we are born. But what should we do with this legacy? And what is the idea? It is not clear. And of course, the gospel is not limited to that what I have stated. That was solely for example purposes. In this example, it demonstrates that there is a certain problem that exists with the perception. So you can read all the existing Gospels and the comments to them 100 times and still not understand the idea. But when we look at a subculture, the idea is expressed clearly and it is understandable to everyone. The idea is very simple. Its formulation is brief, often in one sentence. So the idea is the first difference that we see between a subculture and other phenomena. Let's consider a subculture such as hippies. What is their idea? In the 60s and the 70s of the last century, in the United States, everybody, even teenagers, knew about this idea. Make love, not war. In other words, long live love, no war. Do you remember the song? All you need is love, the Beatles. Give peace a chance. That's what John Lennon sang. Love is above war, pacifism, freedom of sex, and in general, any freedom is the greatest jewel. The hippie example demonstrates once again that the first sign by which you can easily distinguish a subculture is a simple idea. The idea in any subculture is always clearly expressed, often in one sentence, in one story, in one legend.